In this video, we're going to cover the best width that you should be using when you create your emails. Now, when it comes to email marketing, the width of your emails that you send out to your subscribers is very, very important because this drastically affects the effectiveness of your actual email marketing and your email campaigns. So what I'm going to do is go through four different tips when it comes to creating the best types of emails for your campaigns and explain exactly how wide you should be making them for the best results. So the first tip is to you should be keeping your emails between 40 and 60 characters. Now if you're on any of my email lists and if you're reading this then you are of course now on one of my customer lists but if you've received many other emails from me then one of the things that you will notice is my emails are always fairly narrow now I obviously do this on purpose this is how I structure my emails because it's a proven fact that people stay engaged for much longer when they read text which is a lot more narrow and spaced out so this isn't just in theory okay this isn't just theory and, and this isn't just guesswork that we're using here these are proven results because one of the worst things you can do is when you create your emails is to create text that spreads all the way across the page because that will not hold your subscribers attention for very long um, obviously some people will scan the entire email and will read the entire email but when you start talking in terms of numbers okay and volume then you are going to be losing a lot of people and a lot of the attention within your emails and this is obviously not what we're after because we need to hold people's attention throughout the email so we can get our message across whatever that may be so you need to be keeping your emails fairly narrow and this is why you should keep them between 40 and 60 characters for best results so the first tip is to keep your emails between 40 and 60 characters wide tip number two is you can use the autoresponder whatever autoresponder you use you can use the autoresponder as a guide to help you to keep your text between 40 and 60 characters as you can say see here I'm using Aweber and this interface that you see in front of you this might not actually be available in your Aweber account because I've been with Aweber for quite a few years so I'm actually still using the old interface and I find this a lot easier than the new interface that they've currently got but it doesn't matter because what's important is that you take away this from this video that your character should be 40 to 60 characters in width and you can easily do that with any of the other interfaces that Aweber has or any other autoresponder so if we just type in a load of letters here and then we scroll across the page okay so Aweber actually recommends that you only go up to about there anyway now if you count all of the characters here it will be 60 characters in width now just because you have a maximum of 60 it doesn't mean you have to use all of them okay you can come up to around there around like say 40 or 50 characters that's fine and some email marketers do actually use only 40 to 50 characters wide because um, again that is very effective so it is really up to you but anywhere between 40 and 60 is good you start going beyond 60 okay and your e and your emails will look very very ugly seriously you need to keep them between 40 and 60 characters in width so you can use the guide that your autoresponder gives you to keep your messages between the 40 and 60 character um, uh, recommended width as I've already said so tip number three is to use short snappy paragraphs as well so if we go back up to my message here you'll see that the paragraphs 
in this message are fairly short okay I've got three lines there I've got three lines there uh, three lines there with an extra couple of words at the end there and three lines is the most that I go into by the looks of it and I've got one there which I've got a few more on the fourth line but for best results you should be keeping your paragraphs to around three to four lines in in thickness for the actual, you know for the actual paragraphs of your content because again if you make your paragraphs too thick and too big then again people will get bored and you will just not hold the readers to your information to your emails okay you know again it's proven if you give people a massive paragraph of text you will lose in, people will lose interest and they will just not continue to read your email so you must make sure that your emails that you create are short and snappy and they aren't too big so you'll see here that a lot of mine are actually one line and two lines because these do work really well if you can use um, one line or two lines at a time because this holds people's attention and they continue to scan down the page if the paragraph isn't too big now just think back of the last time that you read an email from somebody and you open the email and it had like 15 lines for the first paragraph you know you look at it and you just think oh that's going to be hard work so you kind of scan past that and that could have been the most important part of the email you know so think about this and definitely take it serious use short snappy paragraphs and don't make them too big tip number four is pretty much what we've just covered was do not create long paragraphs so I've just covered that so if we go over the four tips again for this video tip one was to make sure that your emails are between 40 and 60 characters in width tip two was to use your autoresponder for guidance so you can create your emails as you can see here Aweber gave me a recommended width that I can use so I can go up to there or I can actually come back just because there's a line there and they recommend this width that doesn't mean that I actually have to use that every time I can you know these are obviously my emails and I can create them how I want so if you only want to use 45 characters then that's fine so tip number three use short snappy paragraphs this is really important nice and short nice and simple and make them nice and snappy so it keeps people engaged and they continue to read your content and tip number four is do not create long paragraphs if you create big massive great paragraphs that are all uh, bunched up then when people come to your email okay they're going to think it's going to be hard work to read their email to read this content so they simply scan through it and go to the bottom of the page or sometimes even just close your email so it's important that you don't have big long paragraphs with massive great text all bunched up make sure you space things out and you don't have more than about three lines in any particular paragraph because this way it helps to keep your readers engaged your subscribers engaged and they will continue to read your content now of course not everyone will but it's a numbers game um, if you follow the tips that I've given you throughout the video your email marketing will be way more effective and you will see much better results